They serve Deny, brings us four games in the gate. There's some drama in Ufa, there's some cheers in Sochi, and there's a surprise in Kazan. My name is Andrea Sachinka, and you're watching the LKHL Update. America are first off in Ufa, where Salavati Live take on Torpedo. Grigori Panin is making his debut for the Green Machine tonight, and Dennis Parson faces his former team. And Panin's presence does not go unnoticed, although this time he's on the receiving end of a hit. Slava Kuhlman levels Panin in the neutral zone. Torpedo get on the board shortly after that. Vladimir Galuzin and Dennis Porsche set up Yuri Sergeyenko for a point shot, and Sergeyenko wires it past Ben Scrivens. Torpedo only won nothing. Second period now, and Panin is in the spotlight again. This time he staples youngster Maxim Lazarev to the boards. Panin is going to finish the night type of first with four hits. Mitchell Shalenin got four hits for Torpedo as well. No hit as bigger than this one though. Timo Hardikan and Zen's Kaspar Daugav is flying as the battle for the puck at the boards. That's why we love hockey, isn't it? Played on regulation now. Salavara still down by a goal, but it's about to change. Jonas Kempanen moves into prime real estate, gets the puck from Linus Sumer and scores his third of the year. Hardikan and picks up an assist on the play. And just over two minutes later, they score the game winning goal off a really clumsy play by the guy Grigoria. Lady Sumer intercepts this pass on the forecheck and punishes Grigoria. Big league, lead in regulation, you gotta be more careful than that. Torpedo get no points tonight. 2 1 Salavat is your final. We're off to Nizhnikam Square, Nazikimic welcomes Spartak Moscow. And Max goes up against Dan Sexton. 10 minutes into the game, Anatoly Nikonsev breaks into the zone, drops the puck for Igor Mirnov, and Mirnov sets it in for his second of the year. Then Maxwell picks up an assist and it's 1 0 to Spartak. Later in the period, Damir Sharibjanov goes for a collapse from on top of the circle, and it's beloved by Marcus Svensson. Great save by the Swede. Nefty Kimik out shoots Spartak 23 9 in the first, but the red and white still lead 1 0. Home team gets back even midway through the second period as this go on a power play. Then Sexton to Robin Gunzel, cross eyes to Alexi Ganovic, and he scores. Absolutely gorgeous passing play by Nefty Kimik and Captain Viganovic scores the second of the year to tie it up. Early in the third, Nefty Kimik score again. Andre Nestoshel nets his first career KHL goal from the dot. And it's the game winner as well. Nefty Kimik out shoots part at 48 27 and edge them 2 1 on home ice. In case and Ogbars met Severstal. Home team lost four games in a row, but they haven't lost to Severstal since January 2012. First goal of the game comes late in the second. Andre Markov throws the puck in the slot from the right circle, and it goes in off a defenseman. 1 0 Ogbars. Severstal tied up early in the third frame. Mishiko Berlinski shows why he's considered as one of the superstars of the league as he flies into the zone, burns everyone on his way to the net, and stuffs it in. What a goal by the captain! He goes to overtime and it lasts less than 50 seconds. Albert Hero to Rob Klinkhammer, Klinkhammer to Anton Lander, and the Swede puts the biscuit in the jar. Game over. Akbar snapped their four game skid and win it 2 1 in overtime. Our last game of the day takes place down south. In Sochi, local Leopards are up against struggling Dynamo Riga. But it's the Latvian team who strikes first and fast. Captain Vadim Hamitsky is sent to the box just 10 seconds in for Hurkin, and 21 year old defenseman Ovis Balinskis converts on the ensuing power play. Good start for Riga, but it's all Sochi after that. 10 minutes later, Eric Dell skates to the slot and one times at home for his first of the year. Seven minutes into the second period, Vadim Hamitsky redeems himself for that earlier penalty as he nests his first of the season as well with a huge blast. And I think we all know what this celebration means. Sochi lead 2 1 after 40. Early in the third period, Sochi score another one. Simon Anarud nests his first career KHL goal as Casey Wellman and Sean Collins draw the assist. A little later, Eric Dell finds himself unmarked in the slot again, takes a shot, and the puck squeaks into the net. Late in regulation, Odell completes his first career KHL hat trick as he scores from the slot again. He'd never scored more than a goal in this league, but tonight he racked up as many as three. That's gotta be a nice feeling. 
Dynamo Riga lose their seventh consecutive game. 5-1 Sochi is your final. And that's it for the LKHL update. Make sure to come back tomorrow though for eight more games including Admiral Red Army and SKS St. Petersburg vs. Madelaide. It's gonna be a fun Friday. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.